Hi guys, welcome back to Elite Tech Media Interactive. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti is to be nearly two times faster than GTX 1080 Ti. And the NVIDIA Pasco based video cards will, will be a very uh, decent leap from Maxwell based cards. Uh, as we get closer to NVIDIA GPU technology conference in, April, in early April, we are finding out more details on next gen Pasco architecture and, and, and what cards will purposely arrived um, purposely arrived uh, under the new 16nm process uh, now remember these are just leaked specs and on a uh, purpose cards the specs uh, could change so uh, could the naming system video used in the next gen cards according to the latest rumors video will launch the new cards under what we call for now seriously think uh, it will be called this element G GTX 1080 Ti uh, and the Titan X successor, starting with uh, 1080, which is fe uh, which will feature a GP 104 core. We will see 4096 CUDA cores, 100% increase over the 2048 CUDA cores on a GM 204 based GTX 980. We are expected to to need double uh, doubling in texture units, memory bandwidth, and 6 GB of DDR5 up to 4 GB of um, up to up from 4 gigabyte on GTX 1080, the GTX 1080 Ti is even more powerful with 5,120 kilo cores, 320 texture units, and 60, 160 robs with another 28 percent in default performance. The GTX 1080 Ti will will also reportedly rock 8 gigabyte DDR5 memory. It will be DDR5 that's for sure, and 5,012 bit memory bus. Now the Titan successor. What the fuck is this shit? Uh, boy, this guy is going to be fun. We scale a huge 6144 uh, CUDA cores, 100% increase on 3072 CUDA cores found in Titan X. But the big bump to 384 uh, texture units and 192 robes, it will probably rock a huge 12.5 uh, uh, flops up, up, up from the uh, 6.1 T-flops on Titan X, even. And even uh, bumping heads with AMD Joe Radeon uh, Pro and 16 flops of performance. The chart knows the Titan X successor will have 16 uh, gigabyte HPM2 on a 4096 bit memory bus with 1024 gigabytes per second, 1 terabyte per second memory bandwidth, and all contained in more than twice powered uh, 225 volt TDP. The interesting thing to note here is the new cards have amazing power efficiency thanks to the 60nm process with the GTX 1080 only requiring 175 volt and GTX 1080 Ti with 225 volt. Uh, not too not too bad at all. This means you're going to see ridiculously fast cards that also run cool and quiet. We're gonna have more information in two weeks time, um, in couple of weeks time uh, during the Nvidia conference. But wow, this thing is going to be a fucking, this thing is going to be a beast, like legit beast. I'm, I'm so looking forward to, um, to, to buying one of these cards, especially the Titan X one. You know, I'm already starting saving up the money and I'm going to sell my hardware that I have now to buy that. And I recommend that to everyone else. Do not update, upgrade to non TI or or 980 or any of, or Titan X. It's pointless. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more. Thank you.